downtown for eight or two years. And tonight, you can experience the energy and electricity of Motor City in this stunning production packed with foot-tapping songs made famous by the Four Tops, The Temptations, Smokey Robinson, and Marvin Gaye, and so many other big-name stars, plus a touch of soul and style, all guaranteed to have you singing along and dancing. And we're excited this morning because we're joined by two of the stars from Dancing in the Street. We'd like to welcome Bianca and Griffin to the new king. Good morning. Good morning. I'm honored to be a part of this because I grew up listening to this music because of my parents. And this cast is phenomenal. We're having such a great time seeing all the different cities, trying new food. It's <laughs> perform for everyone. It's great. It's a wonderful experience. Julian, is there, is there a, a plot line that this follows that uh, people should know ahead of time? Not really, it's kind of like a bit of review of Motown. You know, so it's kind of like one straight two hours of comfort music. Music, music. It's not like, it's, I know like for me and the guys, we sing a lot of the heavy, heavy kids, especially like I Leave My Girl. Okay. So for me, it's kind of like everyone who was born in so, right. Yeah. So you're ruining it. You know. Yeah, they know, and they know it in a certain way. So right. it's like you've got to hit it just right. right that people, you know, remember it's so, oh yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. So. And do you have any favorite moments? For example, is there a favorite moment you have on stage? I do actually. When I'm doing, I'm coming out. I look at the people's faces and I'm like, Diana, like literally after the show, people will be like, Diana, Diana. I'm like, I'm Beyonce, but. <laughs> I respond to Diana now because it's just like it's, it, you can see that the nostalgia comes back and they feel like they're literally taken back in time watching Diana Ross. It's like, whew. Yeah. Uh, well, and I was just going to say, yeah. what does it feel like? To see, it's like yeah. older people that feel it. There's children that feel it. It's like all different races, everything. It's just a great moment and a great feeling of a performance. And, and how has the tour gone? You've been on the road for more than a month now. Yeah, it's going really well. We started in Canada. Um, we've kind of been like all the time zones, so that's kind of That was crazy. <laughs> we started in Canada and kind of worked our way over and just came down there. It's been really cool. And I've seen it's been really cool. It's been really cool. It's been really cool. Julian, for you, you know, what drew you to this? Production. I know, you know, as actors and performers, I'm sure you go on a lot of auditions, but what was it about this particular well, actually, production? actually, the casting director of this tour was a professor at the college. Oh. He graduated from the University of Arts and And he was kind of like, can I have this audition? And I was like, why not? I mean, I like Motown, and Motown for me is kind of like an extension of black gospel. So for me, it's kind of like heavy. And I was like, let's do it. I mean, I have nothing to do with this, and I actually got the call back. <laughs> and then it's real. Yeah. yeah that's and, and Bianca, this I mean, this is a great experience for you because you're trying. I mean, you're you're a singer yeah. by trade, uh -huh. so this is a great experience for you. It is. It's fantastic. Um, I found out about it because my uncle was actually in Standing in the Shadows of Motown, that whole movie. He let me know about this audition. I was like, eh, I'll see what happens. And then when we got it, I was like, I'm going on tour. Like this is my <laughs> first <laughs> tour, so wow. this has been it's amazing. Like tour bus and everything. But now I have high standards for my own tour. <laughs> <laughs> well, and Julie, we asked Bianca, but do you have a favorite moment in the show? I know you said you lead my girl. I mean, there's a few. I do a, I do a piece, so I sing three times a lady, and I'm kind of giving women in the audience, yeah, and that has that's become it. very interesting. The ladies the love it. But we also do a tribute to the Temptations, and that kind of like a climax in the show. We end the, t uh, the tribute with King and Next Year. And it's, it's very like uh, you want to see that show. It's one night only. It's tonight at the Krauss Heinz Theater. If you're looking for tickets, uh, solve a bank box office at the On Center or Ticketmaster.com. And we're not done with the On Center. Really. They're going to join us and help us. Oh, <laughs> they are going to help ready. us. I'm ready. So <laughs> we're going to see how much we know. We will. We'll be right back. We're back with of the stars from Dancing in the Streets, Bianca Ingram and Julian King, and uh, you're going to quiz us, I understand, right? We're going to yeah. yeah, well, I mean, we're going to try to answer it. They're going to be lifelines. Okay, us. all right. Tim Fox, our own Tim Fox, is here, and you're going to, uh, we're playing game show. Hopefully. I am. We're playing Dancing in the Streets, the game show. Okay. <laughs>
And we've got six big questions for you. Okay. Tiebreaker if we need it. And oh, we got ready? the bells. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Question number one. Who originally performed or made famous the hit song This Old Heart of Mine? I don't know. I'm just going to... Uh, the Four Tops. Okay, is it a male? Is it a group? I know the song. I can sing it in my head. <laughs> Well, he's supposed to be on my team, right? Well, too right. bad. Too bad. Right. Right. That's keep changing the rules. It's so we go. hard of mine. That's the song, right? Oh, I can even see it. them. I can even uh, see them. The who? Uh, oh, man. Okay, Tim Fox, right. we're losing Five, this one. Four, three, two, one. The Isley Brothers. The Isley Brothers. See, I never would have gotten that. All right. No, I did. I didn't know. Okay. Well, wait till we get to mine. I'll go my answer. Okay, all right. Let's go, Tim Fox. Okay, question number two. What year was Endless Love released and who wrote it? Oh. Can I tell me? Like, yes, it's 1981. 1981. Lionel Richie. Lionel. Got it. Okay. One nothing. Okay, question number three. Where are the Temptations from? I think I know this. Philadelphia. No, we got it wrong. We no, can no, take no, it. No, 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 no. Detroit. Oh. Detroit. Yes, yeah, hence the Motown, Detroit Motor City, City, right? Yeah, okay. I should have known. Uh, all come from Detroit. 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 I know wow. they didn't all come from Detroit, but. Anyway. Question number four. Please, Mr. Postman was the first release in both the UK and the US by which Motown girl group? Oh, please, please. Oh, wait, oh, um. Ah. 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 Oh, Ray Charles! Ah, ah, Ray Charles! Oh, wait, hold on, Ray Charles! Ray Charles! Look inside! Oh, 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 Question number six, are you ready? Who wrote most of the 60s top hits for the Supremes and the four tops, among many others? Holland Dozier Holland. Holland Dozier Holland, that's right. Oh, okay. That's right. Yeah. So that's, you uh, rock, let me tell you. You're making me look really good. So I guess we and, don't uh, need a tiebreaker? We don't, but I'll throw it out there anyway. The Motown Museum is located in what? U.S. City. Uh, oh, Detroit. Detroit, 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 right? Detroit, Detroit, yeah. 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 You got it. The Motor City. There you yeah. go. Detroit. There we go. Oh, we have to you, no, we oh, you know what? Right. I'm just really embarrassed that I you know the music you were and, and I don't know. The, you, you had me. Right. At least I have the song, right? That's what's most important. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I can sing along. She was singing the song. I was. I was. I, I, yeah. <laughs> no, I was thinking of a different one. That wasn't the right, one I was right. thinking of. I'm terrible. Yes, that's yes. what I'm thinking of, yes. Anyway, okay. You guys were great. And we want to remind yes. you that if you would like to catch the Dancing in the Streets, these guys are great. You can catch them at the On Center, right? Tonight. Yeah. You can get tickets you at Ticketmaster.com or the On Center box office. Yeah, there we go. Thank you so much. Thank you, Doc. Yeah. Well, coming up next here on Bridge Street, we've got something about finding beauty and masks worn by patients at Upstate Cancer Center. That is coming up. Thank you.